It's been 100 years since a deadly labor strike broke out in southern Colorado. More than 100 people came together today to remember those killed in the Ludlow massacre. Carity News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel was in Ludlow as relatives of coal miners came to pay their respects. A Greek Orthodox Easter service marks 100 years since the Ludlow massacre. Have mercy on us. A century since a deadly attack by the Colorado National Guard and Colorado Fuel and Iron Company against striking coal miners and their families. It has given me a, a lot of peace and mostly hope that the memory of Ludlow won't be lost to history. Linda Linville lost five family members during the massacre, including her great aunt and uncle. I'm here to honor their memory and what they sacrificed. So is Al Sanchez. The labor movement of America basically sprouted here. Sanchez's grandfather fought in Ludlow and lived to tell the story. He's pictured here with other striking miners. There's my grandpa. That's why I'm here today. Some here may seem too young to know the story of Ludlow, the story of miners fighting for better pay and reasonable hours, but they're not. We come here a lot to bring our grandchildren. I brought my daughter here and to teach them, to show them what their history, their family history was. It was again a struggle for human dignity and human respect uh, that, that didn't exist. This crowd is likely the biggest one Ludlow will see all year. Ludlow is now a ghost town. But those here have faith their family stories won't be lost. I now have hope that um, no one will ever forget Ludlow. In Ludlow, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13.